Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I love this weather. Nice and cool, not cold, but it's just right. Perfect for a nice cup of coffee. And you know with the holidays here, a lot of people are working overtime at work. But for me myself, I'd rather be home relaxing with the snakes, making YouTube videos. In the old days, I worked a lot of overtime during the holidays. But I've learned sometimes it's better to just relax and enjoy a cup of coffee. So first order of business, I gotta make a toast to you great people watching these videos. So here's to you. Now in this video, we're gonna be going back and forth. I'm gonna be showing you all the snakes that I have in Burmation. They're already in the cooler. They're already in the cold room. I didn't get a chance to record while I was doing it. I've been real busy, but I'm gonna show you what I have for mating for next year's breeding season, give you guys a sneak peek. And in between, I'll be throwing in some feedings. It's gonna be a really fun video. I'm gonna finish this coffee and we're gonna to get to it. So to get our animals ready to mate, we bromate them for two to three months, put them down to 50 to 55 degrees. This is a reptile's version of hibernating. You wanna get it nice and cool for around two to three months, and that's all you need. All right, so we're gonna start down here with the Tower Humara Mountain Kings. And in my last and in my last video, I actually showed you the babies from the Tarahumara Mountain Kings, this exact pair from last season. Now, this is Mojave, the male. Now, you gotta remember, these snakes haven't ate in about six weeks or longer than that. And they're in the cold, so they're not exactly in top shape to be viewed. It's kind of like when you're in bed, just coming out of bed, you didn't take a shower yet, you didn't put on your makeup. If I just took a video of you, you wouldn't look too pretty either. So that's the same situation here. That's Mojave. And this is the female Sahara. And you'll notice the tongue flickering is very minimal when they're in the cold. This girl's looking really nice and hope, hopefully we get a nice clutch out of her this year. We'll be leaving these in the cooler an extra three weeks after we pull out the rest as they need a cooler and longer brumation and we'll drop those temps down about five more degrees. Now in this middle row, we have First time breeders. This is the male gray banded king snake. One of my favorite snakes as a child growing up. And this guy's just relaxing. I don't really want to bug him. You know, for Burmation, we could put them in smaller bins. They don't really move around too much. Just make sure they have clean water. And you got to check up on them every day or so. Just make sure they're doing okay. And you gotta open this wine cooler every day for about 30 seconds just to let some fresh air in. And this is the female. Just giving you guys a quick look. I don't really wanna disturb her too much. Now let's see how strong I am. Can I lift all of these bins at once? Ah, yep, I got it. Whoa, that was close. All right, so another new pairing, one of my most anticipated of the king snakes, Shadow. Beautiful, beautiful black and white banded Cali King. Really beautiful snake right now. He looks a little dull. He hasn't eaten in a long time, he's cold, but I just can't wait to see the babies he produces. Put him back in. And he's gonna be pairing with Raven. Raven, also black and white banded Cali King. She's a big girl, a little bit bigger than Shadow. Very, very similar pattern. 
cool little head stamp right there. Now these snakes are cold to touch. I'm not used to touching a snake and it's feeling this cold, but that's because they're in the cooler. Now I don't want to disturb these too much, just showing you real quickly. Another first time peering, Cleopatra, beautiful Het Ghost. Het Palmer Ghost and Het Amel from Clayton Carlisle at Mesozoic Reptiles. She's a big girl, she takes up that whole bin. I'm not gonna take her out, but she has a beautiful, beautiful pixelated look to her. Gotta love those big girls. And she's pairing with Scorpion. Scorpion, also a hit. Palmer, Ghost, and Amel from Clayton Carlisle. Really, really nice looking snake. Beautiful, beautiful head stamp. He's just hanging out. I'm not gonna take these out. Just giving you a quick view. All right, guys, I'm excited. Haven't done a feeding video in a while. Not exactly a feeding video, but we're gonna do some feedings. I got those nice fuzzies, nice and warm. We got some hungry snakes. It's gonna be like a Chinese buffet and a bunch of people just got off of work. They're starving, they're too lazy to cook. They're just gonna flood the buffet, so it's time to eat. So let's pick out a nice plump one. Oh, right there. This is gonna be for Rose. So this is Rose, my salmon snow stripe from Carol Huddleston. And look at her, she's already hungry. Look at that nice mouse. Rose coming to the buffet for that good Chinese food. Boom, look at that. Ah, uh, in the water bowl. Rose out of the water bowl. The mouse, or fuzzy I should say, didn't touch the water. Just changed that water. I didn't want to have to change it again. Rose really gaining some size. Nice pink saturation with some yellow tones from the anery infusion. Just looking beautiful. Whoa, next up is Domino. Domino, that beautiful Cali King from VMS Herps. VMS Herps, retired, Sean Nyland, retired. So I got the last of his beautiful stock. This guy's head albino. He's gonna get upgraded to a new bin really soon, gaining a lot of size. Boom, because he loves to eat. And this is one of my favorite Cali Kings in the collection. An amazing Dalmatian looking pattern. Can't wait to pair him with his beautiful, beautiful girl, Beetlejuice. So now I'm gonna show you the other half of my breeders, mostly corns. I don't have enough room in the cooler. Keep them here in the coldest room, nice and covered. So first we have Cactus, my coral snow from Don Sutterberg at South Mountain Reptiles. Normally I prefer for these guys to be shedded out before going to Brumation. But sometimes they go and shed in brumation and you can tell by looking at his eyes that he's gonna shed soon. And next is his girl, Pearl. Look how beautiful Pearl is. She's a coral snow motley. Beautiful coral snow motley also from South Mountain Reptiles, Don Sutterberg, producing some of the finest corn snakes in town. And next is Mr. Apollo, the ink drop from Don Shores. Last year he bred with that nice 60-40 female. But this year he's gonna be breeding with the beautiful Xena. Look how beautiful Xena is. Now I paired Xena last year with Edge and they proved out to both be head albino producing an albino baby. So let's see if Apollo is head albino. Edge is not gonna breed this season. I'm giving him a year off. Produced some amazing babies with this girls last year. 
we're gonna change things up. This girl's nice and stocky, super clean look. So up next, you got Riddler. Riddler paired with Paprika last season to produce some of the most amazing extreme Abbott's Oka teas I've ever seen. Very, very lucky to produce those babies. He'll be pairing again this year with Paprika. Check out that nice tail. Paprika looking just amazing. Check out how nice and extreme she is. You guys already know about Paprika. I don't have to tell you, but if you're new to the channel, she's one of our beautiful girls here. Nice big girl. Can't wait to see if she gives us a bigger clutch this year than last because all those babies were so beautiful. So it wouldn't hurt to have more beautiful babies. So one of the reasons why I breed snakes is for that sheer excitement and passion. I'm so excited about this girl right here. Nevada, my Miami Tessera. This is going to be her first year breeding. I picked her up from Carol Huddleston at Low Belly Reptiles. Look how beautiful she is. Really calm snake. And she'll be breeding with this guy right here. Vegas. Look how clean and streamlined he is. He's a lot smaller, so we're going to see what happens. I hope he gets the job done. And if he does, I can't wait to see what kind of babies come out of those eggs. I'm just so, so excited. Just want to show you guys these fire pies that I got from Bud Fultz. These fuzzies are a little bit too big for these guys, so I'll be feeding them a smaller prey item smaller pinkies in a little bit but not on camera just want to show you them that was the male now this is a female right here look how nice that is room is a little dark so hard to see everything in detail but you can see some of that pied action coming in under the throat beautiful girl right here and the head stamp you got a little pie going on even in her nose and we got another female right here. Little girl, looking really good. These are eating like champs, so in a little while, probably about a year or two, they'll be ready to breed. Really saturated, beautiful, deep, deep, fiery reds. Can't wait to see these grow up. So you'll notice there's a couple of snakes missing that I told you I was gonna breed. Sapphire, my blue-eyed lavender from Tom Stevens, and Cyclops. And then there was another female that was Het, Hyper Mill, and Blue-Eyed Lavender from Tom Stevens, a nice chunky female. I'm not breeding those because Cyclops, the male, just is not up to size. I was hoping he would get up to size, but I didn't force feed him. I didn't want to give him four or five pinkies at a time so he can try and get fat and get up to size because that's not the way to do it. I just feed him like normal. He didn't get up to size, so by next season, He'll be ready, so I'm just gonna wait one more year. There's no rush, just enjoy it, so you'll see them next year. One of my favorites in the collection, these Ultra Mills from Glen Reptile Stock, bred and produced by Kenneth Dial. Look at those colors. I'm not doing anything to enhance the look. That's the way it is. Those amazing, amazing colors from this extreme Ultra Mill Oka tea. This was produced by Kenneth Dial, and it's from Glen Reptile Stock, some of the finest stock in the world. Now that's the female. I mean, that's the male. I'm getting all confused today. Boom, there she goes, she got it. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this girl. Now this is my female Red Zeppelin from Lee Abbott. Haven't showed her in a while. Boom, Whoa, right in the water bowl. 
that's okay. She got the water a little bit dirty the other day, so I'm about to change it anyway. You can see those vibrant reds really coming in. Changed a lot in color since I got her last year and still has a lot more coloring up to do. Man, I love my coffee. I feel coffee is one of the best drinks in the world. Probably the best drink in the world. You know, I go to work, have a nice cup of coffee. I go from grumpy to relax, nice and smiling from that grumpy person. This is just like magic. It makes me feel great. When I'm at home, about to do a video, have a cup of coffee, it could perk me up. But when I wanna also relax, I'm sitting on the couch, have a cup of coffee, and I'm relaxed. It works both ways. You guys should find something that relaxes you. Forget about work. Work isn't even worth worrying about. Just find something you like, passionate about, follow it, drink a cup of coffee, and you'll be okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video. This is Pennywise, my extreme high white Oka tea from Don Sutterberg at South Mountain Reptiles. Real dark in the room. You got a little light in the background, so it's hard to really see. Can't wait to take her out in the natural sunlight. She's just beautiful, gaining some serious size. So I can't wait to breed this girl in a couple of years. Look how nice and calm she is. I love these corn snakes so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go eat a nice dinner. I got some food I'm gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be relaxing. I hope you guys do the same. And I'll catch you in the next one. So you'll notice there was a couple of snakes that you didn't see that I said I was going to breed off the top of my head. Forgot. Right, let's do this again. So you'll notice there's a couple of snakes missing that I told you I was going to breed. So you guys should find something that just relaxes, relaxes, 